How's it going, everybody? Level M Diecast bringing you green light action. We have Hitch and Toe Series 27. I can't believe it's Series 27 already. Uh, just a ridiculously long series. Uh, not the longest series from green light, but it's a pretty long series. Uh, four models in the mix. So we're just going to jump right into this. We'll start with the first one, 1968 Chevy C10 shore bed with the tandem car trailer. And if you notice on the trailer, it does not have that droopy um, tongue on there which has been an issue for this trailer since it was a new casting, which it's still relatively new. Um, I don't know if it's just because the metal is so thin or, or what the deal is, but um, that trailer tongue has always been a problem. Get this guy cracked right open. Get the plastic out of here. Does have a protective uh, little thing in there to keep the models from rolling around. Pull our trailer out. We'll pull our C10 shore bed. We'll pull the ramps. Get those popped out of there. As I drop them all over the place, uh, we'll wait for the uh, trailer stand. Um, it's taped in there. So, for the sake of your viewing pleasure, we will just worry about that later. We'll go ahead and pop the ramps on here. They are pretty tight fit. Hopefully I don't break them. I have broke uh, a couple of these uh, tandem car trailer ramps um, already. Um, they're just super, super, super tight, finicky fit. There we go. Put those in there. So there is our tandem car trailer. It does have golf on the wheel arches on both sides. And, of course, your light blue, typical golf. Chrome wheels on there. Looks pretty good. Um, the whole trailer is just one piece of metal on the bottom. And then this uh, tire rack up here is plastic, which is added on. And, of course, we just added the ramps on there. Uh, they're not always perfect uh, in the way they stand. So you can see there's a little bit off. But you just move them, and then there you go. Uh, one gripe about this trailer is it's too small. Uh, most, most green line models don't even fit on that trailer. It's not very big. This is the fantastic C10 shore bed. Quality looks fantastic on this one. Decals look fantastic. Wheels look pretty good as well. There's the trailer hitch. Does it say Chevrolet on the back, which is a very nice detail. Of course, your Golf across the hood. So it's a pretty nice one. I do like the fact that it's a short bed. Um, don't know if that's a new uh, part of the casting. I don't know if I've ever seen the short bed before. It just says 2021. So they've definitely done a short bed before. Taking a look at the dates here. See if I can see a number. See if it's etched in there or something like that i'm not seeing a number so potentially this one's not numbered not seeing a number anywhere on there even in the glare so we're just going to roll with that there it is with the trailer on there you'll see the trailer is uh too tall to fit on the truck which has been a problem this trailer is like perfectly level so it just sits perfectly on those two axles but there you go. You can't even tow it with the truck because um, the trailer hitch doesn't exactly hook in there. Um, but you can get it to stay in there enough to tow it around. Um, but it's it's a little little weird. So it is enough to hold it in there, but it's it's not fancy. Uh, the trailer hitch is uh, plastic, so a little unfortunate. You see just how small that trailer is compared to the truck. Very very small. So set that guy to the side. We'll bring up some more Chevy action. This is the 1981 Chevy C20 trailering special with flatbed trailer. So apparently this truck is specifically specialized to be towing trailers. But they give it the most, uh, you know, low-key trailer to tow. Just the regular double axle um, flatbed car hauler. Uh, one of the original trailers uh, from the original Series 1 hitch and tow. This truck uh, looks pretty pretty darn cool in the package. We'll see if it's as cool outside the package when we get it out. The car hauler trailer is kind of a meh. Definitely kind of a meh. So we'll pull our truck out of there. This one also has a couple ramps that pop out. Again, we will just hold the trailer hitch for later. This one is a little bit easier to get the ramps on. Um, you know, this one's been made for quite some time. Um, you do have to kind of Wiggle it a little bit. Oh, man. 
I hate when they're really, really stiff because then I worry it is going to break. So that one is being a little difficult. So it is there though. It's kind of sort of there. So we'll put the other one on there. There we go, that one. Sort of kind of in there. Oof. Man, those things are just brutal. I just don't want to don't want to rotate and it looks like there's some flashing in, in that side potentially keeping the ramp from going in there but uh the flatbed trailer just has some details on there for wood of course it does take the stand in there as, as the other one does but it doesn't sit level that one actually is weighted on the tongue this is our 1981 chevy this one looks especially nice very very stock very very bone um utilitarian style i do like the wheels would have had those steelies with the hubcaps on it. Looks really good. It looks like it sits at a pretty nice height. Blue matching interior is pretty nice as well. <clears throat> there is your deets on the back. Does say Chevrolet. Those are painted taillights. They are not lensed. Still looks pretty good though. Definitely like that. Very good details on this one. Flip around. Take a look at our base deets. This one is glossed up with the coating just like the last one. Uh, the number is right here on this one. So see if we can get that in the kind of, a, you know, 4092 is the number. I was trying to get it in the glare there. It is 4092 as the number. Throw the trailer on there. This one actually fits on there very, very nice. Uh, toes around very nice as well. Looks pretty good. It's too bad I can't get the ramps to go up. I'll have to play with those a little bit more, make sure I don't break them. The last thing I want to do is break the ramps because... Then you have to buy a whole new one. All right, getting into the more involved ones between the mix. Uh, these are the more kind of money shot mixes. Uh, these ones are kind of probably take up the whole budget. Uh, 2019 Ford F-150 XLT with the livestock trailer. I particularly like that trailer a lot. There are some hobby exclusives coming out uh, very, very soon uh, or may even be out by the time of this video um, for a couple of these livestock trailers. And then, of course, they're doing a couple of... We're doing three colors for the um, the gooseneck one, um, which is pretty cool. Haven't seen that trailer in a while, so pretty excited to see that one. So get the plastic out of here. Get the Protecto cover out of there as well. Pull our livestock trailer out of there. This one, luckily, we don't have anything to assemble. It is completely assembled, and then we'll get our F-150 out of there. That one is... Um, not uh, white, so the trailer hitch is not white. So they're all silver. Sometimes they do paint them a different color, but this one is not. There is the trailer. This is maroon and white. It's a very, very, very nice contrast. Um, they do have a little bit of prints on the front there with some silver. That goes around the bottom. Looks, looks pretty good. White wheels on this one. White base. A little bit of red print right there on the base. Kind of an interesting print. Spot, a um, little bit of details back there where the tail lights are, which are decoed up. There's some details on there. Uh, this particular one does open up, so the door does open up. Very, very nice details down in the bottom there. It does have some wood details. Looks pretty good. There's a divider in there, but it's all the way in there, so you're not really going to see it or deal with it. Uh, the trailer is pretty nice, though. It does, does fold up pretty flush, which looks pretty good. Deets on the other side, pretty average. And then just the base. So that is a pretty good one. This one is all metal. So metal base and all the top section is metal. So it's a bit of a heavyweight. There is our F-150, which is in a matching uh, red color, which looks pretty good. Uh, this is a pretty decent casting. Does have lensed headlights on it, which looks pretty good. Details on it does have some uh, black print for the over fenders on the side, which is an interesting addition to this um, very interesting especially for factory wheels you know uh, prints on the tail lights they are not lens nice chrome uh, bumper in the back though trailer hitch looks pretty good a little bit longer trailer hitch on this one but it's a it's a pretty decent one there is the base deets on this one the number is up here in the corner looks like 3163 or 3153 one of the two uh, the uh, side uh, bars here, the step bars are added on, so they are glued on to this particular casting. This one looks especially good. That is a very, very nice fit. Toes around very, very nicely. Looks super good. 
Definitely like this one. That one is a pretty good one. So kind of throw him in the back. Kind of bring the other guys over in anticipation of completion. There we go. All right, this one is the final one in the mix. This is the 2018 Ram 2500 and the merchandise trailer. We have not seen the merchandise trailer for a little bit, so pretty happy to see that one back. Uh, it's a pretty involved trailer. It does have a few moving parts on it, which look pretty fancy. So we'll get this clamshell chopped. Always a fun time opening green light. Very, very involved process. There we go. Another Protecto. So this one will be a little bit more gentle with this trailer because it's, it's kind of involved. There we go. Set that to the side. All right. So this is our merchandise trailer. It is for VP Racing Fuels. Looks very, very good. Um, the, you know, kind of, so basically the way this is, is this is like a, it's almost like a water slide decal on the side. It's not print. Um, it's a, it's a decal that's added on. Um, you can see that around like the window and stuff like here, it didn't come in too well. Um, not a very good version for sure. You can see the edges are kind of peeled up a little bit. Um, it's on there. I mean, it's not going to come off, but I mean, just the, the placement of it does not look very good. There is the back kind of a little bit of a carbon fiber look to it. It does have an opening um, little like uh, awning here. So pop that open. There's where your vendor can stand there and sell stuff, which looks pretty good. There's a window right there. Uh, there's, there's, I don't think there's any deets inside. Um, very, very difficult to see in there, even with, uh, even with uh, off the camera. Um, on the other side, you'll see that the placement of this decal is, is actually worse. <laughs> on this side, you see it's uh, missing parts up here. Just doesn't look all that great. It's just uh, not a very good one at all. I do like all the uh, diamond plate um details around the corners and stuff like that though that looks pretty good there is another awning on this side this one seems to be a little stiff Let's see if i can get it to cooperate a little bit so that one opens as well so you can sell from this side so either way works pretty good the opening of that one's not all that great there is some details on the top for a vents and then of course a refrigeration unit that looks pretty decent it's closed up on the side here can't really see it from the base. There is no details on the bottom. It's just, it's just, it is what it is. But it does have quad uh, propane tanks in the front, and then like uh, probably a generator right there. So that looks kind of cool. Uh, that is the same general footprint as the car hauler. Um, they are almost the exact same size, uh, but they are completely different trailers. So there is a lot of weight to the tongue. Grabbing our RAM, this RAM is done up the exact same way. So this is like water slide decals. Um, it goes onto the window, which that one actually looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. Um, just kind of, uh, it's just kind of uneven. You can see there's a lot of just like raised corners and whatnot. But it definitely looks a lot better than the trailer. You can see there is a pretty big gap right here where the fender is. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's kind of difficult. Um... Rolling around, it's the same deets on the other side, just uh, kind of reversed. There is your um, socials, because of course, it's a pretty decent casting. Uh, this is one that uh, has been around for a little bit, so we don't have to worry about the quality details on this particular casting, uh, except for the, you know, kind of water slide decals. You can see there's a pretty decent overage on the back here, which doesn't look very good at all. So I'm not sure why they decided to do it as a wrap. I just don't think that's a great look. Uh, take a look at the base deets. There is a number. It's up here. Let's see if we can see that number. So 1268, 1265, something like that is the number. So unfortunately, this is this is not a good one. Um, this one is definitely not good. Um, you see there's some bubbles and stuff up at the top as well around the satellite receiver. So that one does not look good either. However, um, the Ram does look pretty good to on the trailer. Let's see if we can get that to pop on the hitch a little bit better. There we go. There it goes. Sits a little bit lower. Looks a little bit better. Um, but it doesn't sit flat. So if you were to put this on flat surface, um, the front axle would not rotate. You can see how 
how high up the tongue of the trailer is. And of course, it's enormous compared to the truck. But other than that, it's it's all right. It's all right. Um, you know, overall, not not a very good mix, not a very good release. Um, I'm not sure how long this, this series is going to go, but it still seems fresh, um, shockingly. Um, even after 27 releases, even this series seems... Uh, you know, fresh, even though, you know, we really haven't seen anything new in this set. There's no new castings or anything like that, but it still feels fresh. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. It's it's kind of a mess set, but uh, kind of interesting to see if you guys like it or not. But um, drop a comment. We're going to catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to roll out leveling that cast. Peace.